This is the new commode that I'm installing. The lid, leave it in its sleeve. And that's why we're changing this one out because the existing one doesn't flush well. experience I found that these type seem to leak a little more readily than the one with the uh, extension and they're fairly cheap I would think a new one is going to be less than five dollars you know, usually about two three dollars is what they would cost so I'm not even going to play with this one and here is a new wax ring. And you can see here the difference. This little addition makes a better uh, watertight seal. Other than that, the wax is the same. That's the only difference. And the cost is basically insignificant. So we're going to use this one. Here's the action. Okay, that just takes too long and sometimes it only makes a partial flush. So I'm changing this out. Um, this has caused the uh, drains to plug where I had to use a snake to clear the drains. First thing we need to do is turn off the water supply right there. And I've never done this without getting water on the floor. So we're going to need towels or rags to sop up. Then we need to flush whatever water we can from the commode. Now I'm taking this apart. You don't have to when you uh, remove an old commode, but I'm doing it just to cut the weight down so it's easier to carry. Okay, now we need to disconnect the water supply from underneath. The feed line going into the tank comes from the underneath here and it is just finger tightened. And of course I put a towel underneath. Then I'm going to remove the tank and the screws are under here at this point. I removed the bolts. Now this can be lifted off and I have a bucket near. Now we need to remove <coughs> the screws that's holding the base. Now there's still water remaining in the commode and at this point I'm wearing neoprene gloves or nitrate gloves uh, because this is the dirtier part. The other water was all clean, wasn't run through the commode. Now the bolts are out and there's nothing holding it to the floor so it can be removed and now this wax ring 
that was securing it to the floor or securing the joint has to be removed. And I use a putty knife for this. And I'm going to get all this old wax off. And at this point is where you would change the bolts. Now we have to prep the new commode. This is where a lot of people make their mistake. You have to attach your uh, wax ring onto the commode. Some people put the wax ring in the floor and that doesn't make the proper seal. So remove the protective plastic and this secures onto the porcelain. And I'm not trying to squeeze too much, I'm trying to make it stick. I placed new bolts in the floor. I got rid of those others because I saw some indication of some rust forming. And position that over the hole and check, make sure the bolts came up through the, the holes in the porcelain. And now I'm pushing down and squeezing that wax ring to make the seal. Okay, then at this point you want to square the commode up into the room and then start the reinstallation. And first thing is putting the screws back into the floor. Now secure the the base with the bolts. Now you're going to want to use these caps. This will keep it cleaner. So the first thing you do is you slip this piece on and if you'll notice there's a ridge closer to one side. Put that side up, the side that's closer so it leaves a uh, a groove underneath and then we're going to go with your washers followed by the nut center everything because there's a lot of slop under there then snug it up and don't over tighten this because you're squeezing on a porcelain base and there's no flexing with the porcelain. In fact when I'm using a wrench I don't use the handle. You see I can't get that much torque with that. Now you see that screws too long so we need to Hacksaw, and you have minimum movement here, so this is a real pain. Okay, cut through most of it, and then if you're real gentle, you can flex this and snap it at the cut, like that. Then, where there's all these iron filings, wipe those up because they will rust and they could leave a stain in the porcelain. And then the cap should go over this and it should snap on like that. Right there it's secure. At this point you can remove your rubber gloves. Everything is going to be sanitary from here on out. Okay, take the water closet and you want to insert 
these bolts and they have uh, rubber seals to uh, make sure that there's not going to be a water leak and you can see here that on the underside there is also a rubber gasket so these need to be inserted so that we can set it on top of the tank. Some of the tanks have two screws at this point and some have three. The one I removed had three. The new one that I'm inserting had three. And th these are both polar. So I'm gonna position over. And between those three screws, you adjust the position of the water closet. And, uh, you know, um, a lot of times if you looked at a drawing on a blueprint in the bathroom where the toilet is, they'll have printed WC. And the WC stands for water closet. Apparently this top tank is a water closet. Okay, so I'll put the uh, washers on first, followed by the nuts. And again, these are just going to be finger tightened. And then the tightening will happen when I'm leveling. Here you can see how there's no gap. I do not like this leaning up against the wall. I want to put a, a gap in there. So I'm going to tighten the forward nuts. The back one is snugged up. So I'm holding this forward as I'm doing this. And if you see, I'm kind of laying all over this new commode. <laughs> I wouldn't do this if it was a used one. Now between the front two, we adjust the two of them. You can see I have a gap. It looks like about a three-eighth of an inch to a half inch. So that's pretty good. And then the front two, I'll be doing it to make the the lid level. Now we reattach our water supply. And again, this is going to be snugged up, but it's finger tight. Okay, and turn the water on. And it's filling. After the water has been connected and the water closet has filled, let's test the flush. That's quick. The new commodes, they're water savers and you can see here the height. When you flush, here's the amount of water that it uses. It's pretty quick and it's definitely not using five gallons. That might only be one, one and a half gallons. Replace the lid. Notice the commodes, there's always a indentation. What these are is you can't trap air in here. Um, that would create a vacuum and uh, slow up the water action. And so when these are molded, they're molded with gaps so that it will have a free flow of air to allow the water to siphon quicker. After everything is connected, you want to check for water leaks. Check at the, this joint. Check the base after flushing. And also, this is an area that a lot of people miss and don't think about, and it leaks often if you don't have this snugged up properly. So check to make sure 
that this is going to be dry. Installing the new toilet seat is simple, but um, one thing that these new toilets have is a quick release so that you can remove the seat without unbolting it for cleaning. Okay, with this one, they give you inserts. These are cushions. So snap those into the two slots. And that's kind of like a rubber a cushion for when it comes in contact with the porcelain. And here, these are assembled, held together. Here's the nuts. Of course, the nuts you want stainless or brass. And we need to open these. like that. What you want to do is install these plastic inserts into the bowl first. So the uh, stainless bolts go on there. And if you look closely at this, you'll see that there's a plus sign. That goes facing towards the seat. So we set those on there and then these slide up and snug onto the bolts. So from the underside they push up, snug them with a the screwdriver. And now the seat slides underneath. like that. And the purpose of these is to move this to adjust the position of the seat over the bowl to make sure that it's on square. Okay, once you have that, snug it up and replace these caps. They go in the, in the front end first, then push down on the back. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.